big, bold and brash. Miami is a city that refuses to be quiet. So where better for the WTA's loudest voice to make her comeback? Well, it's been a long road to recovery over eight months out. It's funny, when I walked out, when they announced my name, I actually teared up a little bit, which was totally unexpected. I thought I would maybe, you know, break down and cry a little bit after the match, but before the match, I was, I, I was a little pumped up with emotion. It was a great feeling, though, walking out there. I mean, really, with all the support I get here in Miami, it's one of my favorite events, so I was really happy that I got to do it here. My plan was to serve and volley on my first serve because that's how I injured myself. I hadn't even started a lot of rehab, and I said, the day I come back, I'm going to serve and volley, face my fear. You know, it's my game, though. I, I love being up at net. I love playing aggressive, so I wasn't going to let my injury or my thoughts of an injury kind of interrupt. This started out in a huge brace on crutches, finally got rid of the crutches, got a smaller brace, then eventually went out there a couple times without the brace, felt a little unsteady, put the brace back on for a couple more days. For the last few months, I've, I've been on the court, I've been able to move. I remember the first time I was able to move side to side, I just started balling. I had so much outpouring of positive, inspirational messages from fans, friends, family. It's really been amazing from the time I got hurt till even now watching my match yesterday. And you know, that's something that's really kind of pushed me forward. I actually kind of put myself out there. You know, I talked about how I believed in choosing your attitude and how I believed in taking the process step by step. And by doing that kind of on social media and out in the public, I had to stick to it. So I feel like that really helped me. <laughs> hey guys, two things, update on my knee in my Insta story, and I'll be on Facebook Live later today. I felt like there was a lot of people that could relate to my situation and I think we all kind of inspired each other to have better days and to start our mornings right. Sometimes you look at situations like this and you just see this huge mountain ahead of you and it seems impossible and I think that's when you can kind of gather inspiration from the people around you and I feel like I really have some amazing fans and followers that have given me inspirational quotes on my Facebook that have made comments on Instagram. You know, I love tennis and I want people to kind of see this side of me. I don't like to say, you know, oh, now that I made it back to the court, I've made it. Like, no, like that, this is, it was a big step, but it's, it's definitely not the end. So we'll just, we'll keep going and keep inspiring each other. I had a ton of momentum going into Wimbledon when I got hurt. I mean, I was coming off winning US Open, winning French Open, winning Australian Open, gold medal in Rio. I, I had number one in the world. You know, I had a ton of momentum and it just all stopped in a split step. I take the confidence that I felt when I was playing all those matches and I bring it forward to where I am now. For me, I still believe in myself the same way and I, I still go out there every single match, singles or doubles, and look to win. That's what helped me get all those good results and that's what's gonna get me more results in the future.